Our house is so clean and tidy, with spotless floors you could eat your lunch on. Every cup and plate is in the right place. Dining room, splendidly neat, no meat or cereal under the table. What a wonderful sight, because the laundry bin's light, no dirty clothes left to sort. Only one thing's wrong, and I must tell it to you, none of the above is true. Because our house is full of people who eat and drink and sink into the sofas like cats on a lap and drop crumbs of bread and crisps and cake and make gifts for friends they love and fix bikes, chop trees, knit scarves, scrape knees, throw balls and spill coffee stains. Cheese and onion. Am I happy with this arrangement? <laughs> yes. How can that be? Because it's my family. Do you know why it's called the Jesus Army at all? Um, uh, no, I think it's because the guy who started it, Noel, Noel Stanton, um, I think he wanted um, to... He wanted to create an army that wasn't like for war and things like that, but for like love and peace and things like that. So I think he, I think he called it the Jesus Army, which is kind of a bit like it opposes the normal kind of stereotype kind of army. So how did you become part of the Jesus Army? Well, it was through a friend, um, a friend of mine. Uh, in the church I was in up in Chesterfield um, I'd met someone at college who was living down here and um, I decided to come and visit him see what it was all about Well I chose to come here because uh, I found something in the people living together that was um, meeting and needing me uh, attractive to me and I felt I could also um, give something to what was happening. Tomorrow we're going out with the house to do the evangelising yeah. in London. What's the purpose of it? Um, I think it's to get the Jesus Army known and out there and to kind of to tell people about Jesus as well and to tell them what he can do for them. It's a question we get, often get asked, you know, how do we promote our cause? Uh, we don't sell it, we don't go on the street, you know, sort of waving and shouting. Would you like one of these magazines? Would you like a magazine? Uh, come and join us. I think we're more into people finding God, less like come and be a part of our church. It's just like, I don't know, I found God and I love my life and I found it amazing. And so if people are in a place where they need something, then, you know, I want to talk to them and give them the option that I found to be good. We want to get the gospel. We want to tell people about the love of Jesus. And we want people to understand that Jesus Army is here where we can to help. I, I, we tell you though, I'm a bit concerned about the fact that you live in and sharing everything. Because that has, that has aspects of that has aspects of cult. You know, that's cultism. You'd have, you'd have to say it to and make your own mind up. Are your friends in the Jesus Army? Um, some not of them. all of them. My 
not. You you're, you're your friends. No, I've true. got, I've got, I've got a wee bar. And me, oh, and Millie, no, no, and no. Daniel, and yourself, yes. and Jesus. Yes. Do you have a lot of friends at school? Uh, one or two. Have they ever been here? Well, Hamish has, but he's left school now. Uh, Aiden's been here. What did they think? They thought it was great. Why it's broken. What about school? Do you like school? It's okay. Apart from the world. Apart from what? The world. What's that? The class book. I want to hear oh, that nursery. She has loads of friends at nursery. She has like Because I nursery. want to do yarning all the time. And what kind of rules are there in the house? because of the rules that no bouncing on the sofas, no stealing things from the pantry, <laughs> um, no wrestling, which me and Dan will always do. I, but this is what I like to do. Right, Daniel, can you get down? Out the window, please, now. <laughs> Down and go away. <laughs> right, when they're young, I think they think everybody looks like this, and then when they start school, they realise actually most people live in their own house. So, um, but I think it's good, like, in terms of their people skills, they're very like people. People. What do you think um, the more negative sides of growing up in or living in a community house are? Um, well, I think it depends. Like, you have to you have to make time for your family. That's a, like make sure the children don't get lost just in the you know mix of people that they're they're your children and they have a family <laughs> identity I think that's an important thing yeah I mean we try to bring them up to you know have faith like we do and instill kind of good values into them mm. Both our treasure in heaven. Are you disappointed that some of your children have maybe left the Jesus Army? In some ways I, I am. Um, but I think what's more important is that they follow values that they've learned wherever they are. You know, I'd be, I'm happy that they follow uh, good morals, you know, and, and that they have a belief. I think that's more important than where than actually where they are. And do you think Iona will stay within the Jesus Army or? I'd like to hope so. 
But do I think she will? Um, she'll probably do university. Then the whole world opens up, and then you've got a different view aspect of things. And she'll have to take that in. She'll have to take that aspect in herself then, and make her decisions when she gets 18, 19, which way she wants to go. Um, but one can hope that she'll stay fairly close to what we're doing. Would you ever want to experience life on the outside as such? Oh, definitely. I think I'd like to try moving out for a little bit just to see what it's like. Like, I don't know, not far, like maybe around the corner with a friend or something. Do you think you'll live here forever? Um, um yes. I don't know. I don't okay. care. Because I don't want to sort out the bills. Do you think you'll stay in the Jesus Army when you're older? Definitely. Why is that? Because no one else could compare with it. Best place in the world. Excuse me, everyone. I'm talking. Okay. I want to live in in heaven. I guess because I've grown up here, it's hard to picture myself not here, kind of thing. This is kind of my family, really. So you wouldn't really want to leave your family. Yeah. <laughs>